Okay, so let's create our previous. Now we want to use previous in the conventional sense of the word, where in when a motion picture is made, they use previous as sort of an animated storyboard to visualize the scene. But we will use previous to decide what camera angles are we going to use when the exact cuts will be made so we don't have to render anything extra we won't we won't um, use so we render just exactly the frames we we need and not waste time with any extra rendering so we will basically throw in all the cameras we want um, and then render them in local in low quality very quickly and edit it in after effects and then based on that we will see exactly what frames are we going to need of each angle and then render that only those parts in the full quality so we have our scene and we'll just start adding cameras so the first camera let's just zero this out in here let's go into the camera and we will first set up our basically our main wide establishing shot. Let's let's put it on the side like this. Perhaps change the focal length to 50. We shouldn't use um, very wide focal lengths because this is somewhat of a of a macro animation. So macro lenses are usually longer than. So we, we won't use any wide wide angles. We're, we'll use the standard 50 for our wide angle and maybe like 100, 200 for our close-ups. So let's put the camera here. We also need to tilt it a little bit. You should never have a have something uh, in the in the composition. It shouldn't be perfect. That is that helps to sell the realism to the little imperfections. So. Let's just tilt this, ah, wrong. tilt this just a little bit, put it up, maybe a little further, well, let's watch. Yeah, I think this is good, this is a good shot. So, let's add another camera, also let's name these, this, is, this will be cam1, cam2, am I even recording? Yeah, I am. Good. <laughs> so, let's go into the second camera and this will be our close-up. So let's change it to maybe like a hundred. Maybe not so much tilt. Perhaps less. That should be okay. Let's see. Maybe, maybe it needs to be longer. Let's move it more to the side so we don't see the base, just the shards. And I want to see the bullet in this shot for a longer time. Uh, this, this, the bullet is moving too fast, but it's there. And this is a good shot. I like, I like how the, how the shards move in here. So this is good. Let's add another one, like for example, another wide angle. So let's change back to fifty. You know what, let's start from the first camera. So let's just copy the first camera, call this cam3. Let's go into that. And I want sort of a low angle from the ground. So we'll tilt this up a little bit. Go down, oh, this is, this is too much, this is too much. Let's see. Yeah, this should be right. And let's move it more to the side, perhaps. Or maybe that was okay, actually. Let's let's leave it like this. What does it look like? Ah, let's move it to the side to have the bullet stay in the shot for a longer time. So perhaps like here. Let's see. Yeah, this is really nice. I like this. And because I have already done the animation up front, I know for a fact that I will only use these three cameras, but we can just uh, add some more just to see what kind of other angles we can we can have. So 
let's have a view from the top. That might be interesting. Like this. Perhaps move it back here more. And again, leave a little bit of tilt because if this was too perfect, I know this because I have tried before. If this is too perfect exactly in the center, then it will look a little strange and it won't be obvious that we are looking down at the glass. So just a little bit of tilt, maybe, maybe like 4 degrees. And let's center this. So let's see. Ah. Maybe less tilt, like 88 degrees perhaps. Center this. Yeah, let's move it more to the side. Let's see. Yeah, this is a nice shot. <coughs> we could technically have some shots looking which way let's change this by 90 degrees we could have some shots looking this way but the problem there is first we will shoot our camera with the bullet and second we would need to create more backdrop but that, that, that could be pretty easy just, just when we were creating and we were creating the box in the beginning when I showed you the version of creating the backdrop by creating the box it, we would just need to delete one less side so that could be easy but let's see what this shot looks like anyway this is not, you know what, this, this might be interesting might be interesting, but let's put a, put a longer focal length, 100, move it way further back, move it down, let's see where we start, move it a little up and tilt it up, let's see. This is actually really nice. So, let's just create the backdrop just in case. 